Hey guys, how are you doing? We're getting that here now. This time of year. Um, how are you doing? How are you holding up? My goodness. Uh, today makes three years I started canning. And it has been quite the journey. I learned a great deal, not just about food, but the preserving of it the care of it and let's face it prices are going up I mean whew, I went and did my weekly gro grocery shopping and dear mother of god <laughs> it was awful um and do for the pressure canning there's the essential skill to learn because when you can get a great deal on chicken while you can get one you need to have a way to store it you can't always rely on the freezer because power goes out guess what if it goes out for longer than a certain amount of time you're gonna lose that chicken you're gonna lose your meat uh, during hurricanes People would lose thousands and thousands of dollars for meat. That's a lot of money. Especially when you figure they probably have insurance premiums they're going to have to pay for repairs on their home. And then they get replaced the meat they've lost. It's insane. So learning to can what are these? okay these are two markers of my daughters I'm finding stuff in this desk that I didn't realize were there anyway um pressure can now I gotta admit I used to be terrified of pressure cookers I mean just terrified it's an instant pot to help me get over that fear it helped me conquer it. And it gave me the confidence, it helped me build the confidence to pressure can. There are a lot of pressure canners out there. I personally prefer the stove top one for a simple reason. I know the process, I've been through the process. And if it doesn't do something at a certain point, I know there's something wrong. All you do is get, stop, think, go through the process, and I can figure out what needs to be done. Um, with these electric pressure cameras, you can't really do that. So I strongly recommend stove top ones like Presto. I love my Presto. I call her Bertha. She can cook anything, just like my late grams, my mu I uh, maternal grandmother. Grams can cook anything. Now, the skills you will develop learning to pressure can are organizational skills, time management skills. You will learn these along the way. You will learn to time everything. Yeah, you know, set out a certain blocks. You will know what you can do ahead of time, like your prep work, cutting onions, vegetables, stuff like that. You can do that ahead. You're gonna soak your veg your beans. You can do that overnight. This way, when you come home or you get up, you can get right to it. You can set out a block of time to do this. You will develop those skills. You will develop research skills that you may not have right now. I certainly didn't have them. I had no sense of research skills whatsoever. But this has helped me really focus in on those skills 
Now, I want to give you a link to somebody who has really inspired me to can to get back to baking and cooking from scratch. And it's actually the section I lost on my notes. Um, Heather, needy homesteader. Um, if you're new, she lost her husband back in February to a drunk driver. She hasn't been able to do a lot of videos of late because she's had two of her legs broken, one crushed. Uh, she had a brain injury. She's also had an arm broken, which was her dominant hand. Or left one. It's bad enough when you get your non-dominant hand injured, but when you get a hand, an arm, a hand broken, that's your dominant hand. Oh, that sucks. Done it. I'm right-handed. I was like fifth grade and I had got this arm broke. I couldn't do hardly anything. Now. She has not just inspired me, but many, many other people. I'm going to give you a link to her channel, and you'll see all people she has inspired to do things like homesteading, growing food, raising livestock, canning. Cooking from scratch can be overwhelming. I will admit, it can be overwhelming. Um, but it's worth it. It really is worth it. I can say with all honesty, it is worth it. Because you will be able to put a meal together that you know where each component came from. And if you're able to grow and raise your own vegetables, grow a garden and raise your own livestock, even better. So then you really know where everything's come from. So, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to give you the link to Heather, her canning list. Um, read your manual. Read your manual. And read some more. Always, always, always have your manual for your pressure canner or water bath canner close by. Alright guys, I will see you later.